Hi there, I'm Jacob Kubel, experienced student at Churchill High School. And this new cafeteria system we have is the single most awful, unnecessary, worthless, ridiculous system I've ever wanted. Hi, I'm Jacob Kubel, junior student at Churchill High School. Now, Churchill is a school that I would say does a fair job at minimizing problems. We could be better, but we could also be significantly worse. And I half-heartedly take pride in that. One problem, however, that really pushes me to a point where I believe action is necessary is the current cafeteria situation at Churchill High School. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the situation, because most students don't show up for school with regards to COVID, only two lines are open um, in comparison to the normal eight with a normal school year. This doesn't seem to be a problem because only two options are necessary if you're only feeding like a third of the students. That makes sense. However, by only opening up these two lines, there is now a row that stretches end to end on the cafeteria filled with students clustered up eagerly waiting to get their food. Now, this doesn't seem like a big problem, like just wait and get your food, it's not a big deal. However, this is a major problem, a major minor problem for three big reasons. One, Churchill lunch ladies have now become incredibly overworked as their responsibilities have become increased fourfold. Two, students now have to wait an extra amount of time to get their food. Thirdly, because concerns for the COVID-19 virus are so high, clustering students like this is not only unsafe, but just unnecessary. The current cafeteria situation is stressful for everyone alike, including cafeteria ladies. By closing off six other lines, these workers now have an unnecessary increased workload. One cafeteria lady in particular, whom I interviewed, stated, this system is just an increased amount of stress for a job that shouldn't be stressful. Cafeteria ladies now not only have bigger workloads, but take longer to serve the students, thus shortening their breaks. Similarly, students also found the excessive lunch lines to be unfavorable. Although most didn't see the lines as a huge problem, they did admit to its inconvenience. They discussed the lines ill nature of clustering people amidst a pandemic, as well as the discouraging waiting time for food. Some students, such as John Lika, pointed out the fact that getting just a simple bottle of water can take up to 20 minutes because the lines are so excessively long. This problem is really not all that large and above all is manageable. By just simply incorporating the other six lines, which can still serve the same meal, students can get their meal quicker, more conveniently and more efficiently. Lines will be less clustered, thus cooperating with COVID-19 procedures a little bit better and on top of this, lunch ladies can collectively serve more students in less time and individually be working less. Possibly one of the most advantageous aspects of this solution is that it doesn't require some big formal meeting to create this change. Just simply approaching our principal, Mr. Bloomer, about this topic can create a much smoother day for everyone and much less havoc in the cafeteria as just opening up these other lines is a quick, easy, effective solution to reduce the amount of wait time students have before they can get their lunch, to um, increase the efficiency of the cafeteria workers at the same time as decreasing their workload, and to just remove any clustering that occurs in the cafeteria that can just add to any unsafe protocol, unsafety of the, um, COVID-19 virus.